Hi, this is Amber Twine from IamKandali.com. Today for our spotlight, we have Jay Jetson. Jay Jetson is here to tell us about what he's been working on, what he's up to, and a little bit about himself. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me. <laughs> so, um, I know that you just came out of a photo shoot, mm -hmm. and the photo shoot was for DJing. Mm -hmm. Basically, I just wanted to get a couple optics to put on a couple mm -hmm. of my social networks. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of my promotional material. Right. Because just, I want to get better at making my image a part of my brand. Right. Like my face and, you know, just me in general. So, I know that you've been DJing for a while now. You, right. Your dad is a DJ. Mm -hmm. And you're familiar with a lot of DJs from the Tri-State area and from the East Coast. Yep, yep. So, what do you say makes you stand out as a DJ? Um, because... I like to say uh, sometimes I go into my DJ Pandora mode. DJ, okay. I play what I want to play. <laughs> right. Like, um, I'm going to play my favorite songs. I'm going to mm -hmm. play what I think the crowd is going to go. Because I think when you listen to, you know, certain uh, avenues, certain stations, people go into a rut. They get yes, into the same do. same songs. Because this song worked last week. We're going to play right. it this week and next week and next mm. week. And before you know it, everyone's got the same sets. Right. I, I, I'm gonna throw a loop in there. I'm gonna throw an old song in there that you forgot about. I'm gonna throw a song from a show that you didn't know you watched. I'm gonna mm. throw some sound effects that you didn't know, and I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it groovy. I'm gonna have fun with everything <laughs> I do. Now you mentioned sound effects. I've been to a couple of events that you've done, and what's up with the cartoons? What's up with it? Uh, <laughs> uh, that's really what I watch. Uh, mm -hmm. Other than you know. Um, I don't really watch many current shows. I right. watch a lot of animation. So you find a lot of motivation and inspiration from these kind of, um, it's kind of nostalgic. Yeah, super, yeah, old shows, you know, of course the Jetsons. That's yes. Where I get my name. Um, yeah. Flintstones, old Hanna-Barbera cartoons. Right. Uh, Nick, uh, old Nicktoons, Cartoon Network shows, Toonami. Uh, all that stuff is what I really grew up on mm -hmm. and it really shaped my childhood it shaped my creativity right. and when I hear it it just triggers something in my brain and I think when other people hear it mm -hmm. it should do the same thing memories yeah and, it, yeah, and a childhood. lot of times you may not even know it yeah that's what makes it good about it that, uh, that's what makes what I do special right now as far as DJing if you could DJ for anyone who would you DJ for? Barack Obama. What? <laughs> Barack Obama? Easy. Why? Why not? What? What is the... <laughs> that's the biggest power move that you can do. Like, imagine if you can put Barack Obama on your resume. Like, mm -hmm. call him for a reference. Yeah. I'm good enough for him. He yeah. hired me. He's going to hire me again. Call him. H Hello? Yeah, I remember him. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, okay. Yeah, he, he, Jay was great. Right. Like, I, I saw a video of, of, of a party <laughs> at the White House. Yeah. And they was doing a swag surfing. Yeah. And I was like, I guess, you know, when, well, this was before when he was in the White House, I guess right. when he throws a party, he does need a DJ. Right. It'd be awesome to be that guy. It'd be awesome to go to his events and play the, the music when he's coming out. Right. Oh the my air God. horns. <laughs> Barack Obama. Okay, well, let me ask you this, right? If our current POTUS asked you to do an event, would you pull the Chrisette Michelle or would you do it? Uh, I do not support Trump. However, I would do it. <laughs> <laughs> and what would be your excuse, I'll say? Everyone would just need to watch. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, aside from DJing, you also have other talents in music and outside of music. So, are there any other things that you're working on? Um, yeah, I'm actually starting to write more, starting to write with films more. I got with some people that I went to college with, mm. and he's actually working on a script for a web series mm -hmm. about, uh, kids uh kids uh college students basically mm -hmm. the way i best describe it it's like a mixture of it's always sunny in philadelphia 
which with College Hills, like telling the mm. real stories of what it's like being a, a young man at a HBCU. Okay. Because you went to an HBCU. Of course. Don't so you're it. always <laughs> so on the support. Okay. Uh, the HBCUs. And- I don't support my HBCU. I support HBCUs in general. In general. <laughs> so what's one thing that you um, set for yourself as a goal? Um, I want to be able to have my own production company. Mm. I want to have my own catalog of things that I own that I can get paid from versus the time that I get paid for. Right. One thing as people that we don't do a lot of is we don't get the most of our money as in the only thing we're getting our money for is our time. Yep. Is our skill. And we only got, you know, none of us have enough of that. Right. And we all run out of that. But that's the only thing we use to get our money. Right. What we need to do is we need to have ownership of something that's going to bring us income. That's true. So I want to be in a place where I'm owning the rights to say a script that is uh, a a director wants to pick up for a movie and they're going to pay me. I want to own the rights to a catalog of music that um, every time it gets lifted on Spotify or put in a movie, I, I get a, a check in three months. Right. I want to be the one that gets his name put on it just by signing a check and saying, I okay this. I want to yes. be Quincy Jones. <laughs> right. So as a creative, what advice do you have for other creatives out there aspiring? It's tough. Monetize. Yep. I'm, it's hard. <laughs> you got to be a capitalist. This, cause this is hard out here. Not everyone is gonna see your art. Most everyone isn't gonna see your art. Mm-hmm. If that's what you really want to do, like. I don't know where I heard it, it was old. I think you may have said this. Someone said this. Um, if this is really what you want to do, would you do it for free? Now back up. Would you do it if it cost you money? You gotta ask yourself that every every day. Every every step you take. <laughs> every day, probably two three times a day. Every <laughs> every three hours. That's true. So where can we find you? If we wanted to book you for an event, where can we find you? Um, SoundCloud, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Xbox Live. <laughs> it's Jay Jetson. J-A-Y-J-E-T-S-I-N. I said Xbox Live because I will kill you in GTA. Oh my gosh. That sounds like a challenge. Jay Jetson. Like I think challenge. I'm Jay Jetson 1 on <laughs> Xbox Live because someone hacked me a long time ago. But yeah, uh, just follow me on all my social networks. I post where I'm about to be. I'm kind of cool on social networking. Sometimes I'm weird, but I won't DM you. <laughs> so he'll stay out of your DMs, but you can catch him on all those avenues and platforms. Is there anything else that you would leave with our audience before I let you go? Um... I'm kind of ugly, but it's okay. Oh, my gosh. Well, thank you again, Jay. I appreciate you being here. Thank you. And you all take care. Have a good night.